Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, still alive and in color from Capitan, New Mexico, on a cool morning. Hey, Google, what's the temperature? In Capitan, it's currently 62 degrees. With a high of 75, not too bad. But the reason is it's been, it, it's, look at this hair. <laughs> God dang. One, look at that dog. <laughs> Don't you love getting old, damn old? <laughs> Antenna, boy, that thing was looking for a signal, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow, right now. And anyway, uh, yeah, if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it because right now it just went. Choo. Anyway, what else? Uh, never worry about what you cannot change. Think about that one. Uh, anyway, I've been RVing a long time. Everybody knows that, except for the one new guy that we get every once a year. And hey, Google, tell us a gorilla joke. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. That, folks, is a gorilla joke. <clears throat> anyway, having said that, moving right along to what? Uh, oh, also for the nooner today, Believe it or don't, the builder that was going to build the tiny home appears that we're going to work a deal. I think we're, he, he's coming by today. Well, actually, the guy from the city came by yesterday and located the, you know, the, where to connect the sewer line and all that stuff. And they're supposed to meet here this morning. So anyway, uh, I almost hate to say it because it could jinx it, but we may be tiny home men. You know, but I'll give you a, 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 the noon video. We'll discuss it a little bit. <clears throat> but anyway, what else? Uh, we got to get some comments here, Rusty. There we go. Comments coming up here. Link. Got a lot of them. This is Rob Towen on buying the real estate stuff. It's just as well that you didn't get the property. Now you won't have to relist it for sale in six to eight weeks. You do you, and we all know how you do you. Thank you for your smart-ass comment, Rob Talon. <laughs> he said, I hear houseboats are currently dirt cheap on Lake Mead near Las Vegas. Dear Trixa, good morning to you on the North Sea of Germany. Hope it's a pretty day where you are. Kathy Hatfield from the Hatfields and McCoys says, good information. Well, it was just information that I stumbled upon by trying to run and make a deal. Debbie Debcar one, I moved to Pueblo, Colorado when I was 20, never having been there or never been there before. Big mistake. Don't ever move somewhere or buy property in a place you've never seen with your own eyes or been to. Lesson learned for me. I do me. Good for you, Debbie. I do me also. Thank you. Doug Porter, non-performance of a contract. Yeah, I guess if they renege, you could do that, but you know, the crazy thing about it is by the time you got an attorney and did all that stuff, you'd, you'd, lo you'd lose your butt, man. It, <laughs> your attorney wouldn't, well, they may take it, but anyway. Uh, this is Boondocking with Dennis. He's been binge watching my videos. Check his channel out on YouTube. Serving in the Peace Corps in Mongolia must have been a very unique experience. Thanks for sharing another story. Yeah, it seems like it was 100 years ago, but it was only, let's see, 94, 95. Uh, 27 years ago, <laughs> so only, uh, same person, Boondocking with Dennis, one of my favorite little towns in the area, that's Burnett, Texas, love the history and the old jailhouse is pretty awesome, thanks for the tour, you're very welcome, Dennis, AWT on a video I did on Donald Trump, <clears throat> long time ago, says, you're the man, Rusty, anyone with a functional brain is missing Trump these days, well, you know, that's kind of a political thing. That's your choice. Uh, king for a day, buying real estate today. Sorry you didn't get your property. I believe all of us kind of know how you feel as we have missed out on buying something because someone else offered the seller a better deal. Yeah, that's life. But, you know, I understand now after reading about more of this, apparently there's ways to run a little scam. You know, they, they find a piece. Never mind, I get into it. You know what I mean? There's a way to make money doing that. Bannon Halen on real estate. This is a standard 
This is standard Colorado nowadays, Rusty. My house is up unreal amounts in the past few years. We used to bitch about Texans, but now it's folks from Northern California and Chicago, and we wish it was the good old days of Texans. They're a bunch of litigious a-holes. I'm timing my exit, but it's going to be a few more years because they've already ruined where they came from and they keep coming. Whatever you think, Van and Halen, uh, Bob, Bob Siebert, anyone would be a fool to buy a property in this crash hola mode. It's going to get ugly. All right. Thank you, Bob Siebert, for your positive input. Scotty Thompson, video, cool video talk, cool video comment call, whatever. Thank you, Scotty. Cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin, copper man. This person's name is my account. I sold a house a few weeks ago. Any offer at or below asking or with contingencies was not considered. This left me with many offers to choose from. I ended up not taking the highest, but accepted the offer I felt was most likely to close. Well, that's good thinning. <coughs> More whiskey. Scotty's got a couple here. He says, I'm going to get some new bowling equipment, a new bowling ball bag, and some new bowling shoes. Maybe not sure yet. I might just keep my bowling shoes. Uh, I use, for, But he's used them for like a year. And then he says, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty. Keep up the bowling. I want to see you on the tour pretty soon. Moya King. This bidding war happened to my daughter back in the UK. That's United Kingdom for you people that have not do not know geogra geography. Uh, property listed for 370,000 euros. She ended buying for 390. There were two other same price offers of 390, but because my daughter was in a better position, she has got the house. Also, the rental market has gone up tenfold. Prices are astronomical. Thank you, Moya King. So what that tells me is, is what's happening in the United States is probably happening all over the world. It's called inflation, greed, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yeah, the people that are renting now, uh, it's, it's a real rent trap out there. Because as property values go up, taxes go up. Well, as taxes go up, the landlords pass that right through to the renters, okay? And as uh, utility costs and other things go up, same thing. Uh, Zaytuni de J. Codrell. On this side of the world, we very difficult to sell houses because new houses kept coming up. And if someone cannot afford housing, what do you got here? They just stay with relatives. Well, that's a good idea. Thank you, Zaytuni. Lulu59. Hello, Lulu59. L-M-A-O. It sounds like the old Blob movie soundtrack. Hello, what a crack up. Thank you, Lulu. I guess that's a negative comment. Whatever. Drill Sergeant. This is on real estate. This was a case of having an unethical realtor. Where, where you buy at full price and the realtor shops it around for more money. Well, what it was is uh, the uh, realtor was just doing her job. It's her job to report to the seller, the highest or the best, or all offers, actually, all offers, no matter what they are. But anyway, whatever, it's uh, the way it is, and I know it's kind of, it's aggravating for some people like me. Steve Thomas, you don't need a crystal ball to see that the real estate agent is high on the list of soon-to-be extinct careers anyway. No, I agree. I, I, no, it is. I agree with I think, uh, you know, car salesmen are gone. Car dealerships are gone. Uh, realtors are gone. Uh, real estate agents are gone. Yeah, a travel agent, so you don't need them. Uh, so, you know, all of that's uh, soon to be extinct. It's amazing. No, I agree with you. Uh, but, yeah, that's, uh, it's it's a definitely a change in world. Thank you, Steve. Brian says, thanks, Mr. Rusty. Enjoyed your video. And the goat, the old goat. This is the two-eared goat coming in here to give you a stinking goat kiss on a Thursday morning. This is the 23rd of June. Raccoon Little Bear. They should stop calling it real estate and call it silent auction. There seems to be some lying, some half-truths, and lots of greed. No, it's all about money, man. Big fish eat little fish. And if you're a little fish going in on a big deal, you're going to get eaten, just like I did. I mean, you know, I thought I had the deal done, 
and and actually it worked out for the best because the next morning I you know I went a went a door closes and a window opens okay that door closed boom okay didn't get it but then the next morning phone rings it's the builder okay he's ready to, he he wants to talk to me and we're gonna go we went over some stuff over the phone and I thought well hell you know let's do it price doesn't sound near as bad now <laughs> now that I've been got 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 out of the real world where's my clinics out here it is I got, I got to get my picture for the video today whenever i do this it, it, that's it right there the the uh artificial and or software just ding anyway brian thanks mr rusty enjoyed you oh i read that <clears throat> raccoon little bear oh i already read that too well we read one you haven't read rusty okay i will sashi smith beautiful drive and share real estate corporate world of its own I personally am experiencing spe specific performance. Oh boy, I took the in initiative to study what it actually entailed. Oh boy, the Colorado purchase was interesting to learn about. Thanks, Colorado is a beautiful state. Also, I've visited there a few times. Happy evening, Rusty. Thank you, Sashi Smith. Rolling here, babe. Zandra Jacobs. Good morning, Zandra. It is a beautiful country. Very windy, very snowy in winter. That price was bait for something. Well, it caught this fish. Mm, you know, mm. <laughs> Colorado properties are over the roof, and it is heavily pop. It is a heavily populated state since so many people have moved there. The natives in the entire state are less than happy with this. I lived there 25 years. Used to camp in the area. It was wonderful. Now, not so much. Small towns are full of read more strangers. You are in a much better state. Be glad you're in the wonderful place you are. It is a wonderful spot in the United States, and I agree with you. And that's why I'm going to finally build me a tiny home here. And the builder's coming by this morning. We're going to go over some details. He's going to get the dirt work started, and away we go. I've got some trees that are going to be trimmed. We're rolling again, baby. The old train's starting up. You got me? We're going again. L. McDaniel, Bubba. You've been under rocks. This is three-year-old news. Well, thank you, L. McDaniel, for leaving that super positive comment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Bubba, you've been under rocks. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, what's his name? L. McDaniel. Hello, L. McDaniel. Anyway, John the Maestro, I could say a lot of things, but I ain't going to say it. John the Maestro, realtors are worse than car salesmen when it comes to lying, conning. They're not going to be around 10 years from now. I guarantee none of the people you just mentioned, they're all gone, man. Gone. Foof. <laughs> Sanborn S, I like the new view for the driving video. You could change to this periodically for flavor. Yeah, just shoot the camera. A lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, YouTubers do it. You know, they have one that shows kind of the bow thing, but I don't, it's okay. I, I just did it because it was raining. 10 truck 28. I don't think real estate salespeople are allowed to tell the offers by law. They will tell you last and best. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I didn't get the last. I, I, I called, well, no, she called me and we were talking about it. And I said, well, what, what did it finally sell for? She said, I can't tell you. <laughs> all right anyway ai marvin full price offer means nothing the realtor said the owner had the owner the realtor said the owner had turned down every full price offer and up the price no they didn't say that they didn't say that to me mm -mm. Mm -mm. targa wheels i bid on ebay where other people would outbid me when time ran out a day or two later the seller or eBay would message me saying if I were still interested in it. Right there, I knew some bidders are in there to start a price war. Never bought anything on eBay since. No, I don't either. But I don't buy anything at auctions. Why? Because you get four or five people in there that are uh, just there for one reason, to run the price up. You know, it happens all the time. It's business. Gina Whitner asked the realtor how much it sold for. I did. <laughs> she wouldn't tell me. Tracy Phillips. A friend of mine found a house he wanted to buy for eighty-five thousand. He made an offer of a hundred thousand. His offer was turned down, and it sold for a hundred three thousand. Go figure. 
Uh, I mean, I hear you, but I'm not going to do that. No, we're going to build one right here, and it's going to cost me fifty thou. Okay, fifty thousand for a three hundred and twenty square foot home built the way I want it. It's going to have stucco on the outside, a copper metal roof. You understand? And on a concrete slab, I'm have concrete garage, one car. How about that, guys? Huh? 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 Moving on up to the east side, Kenneth Bode. The way it is, it the the way it is in today's market. Accepting multiple offers is the norm today. I agree with you. But fortunately, I won't have to do that anymore because today we start on a new adventure of building me my own place here, and I have a home in Texas, even though it's up for sale. It hasn't sold yet, and it does it may not. So I got a place to go in the winter and a place to go in the summer and a place to go in the winter and a place to go in the summer and on and on and on. Sooner born. Agree. Nice place to park an RV. Not sure if enough there to live just in the cabin, though. Didn't see kitchen or bathroom. It doesn't have a kitchen or a bathroom. Mm -mm. It's just 220 square feet of box. Yeah, I hear you. On a half acre. Uh, this is no madman. Black Rock. Oh, no, not Black Rock. Drury Springs Ranch. I am told in El Paso to offer at least twenty to 50000 over or forget it. Isn't that crazy? Never heard of that. Manatee. Reminds me of 2008. The appraisal doesn't mean nothing. Actually, it doesn't mean anything. But that's okay. Yes. D. Anderson. Hello, D. Anderson. It just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll probably find something cheaper once the recession hits. Actually, I'm going to build something. Edit. I actually looked up the property. It has a neat little cabinet on it, but the land seems rocky, uneven, and very remote. I'm not sure Rusty could enjoy his walks there. You think? I don't know. Dogman Chronicles. Check that channel out. Sorry that the deal didn't work out for you, Rusty. Onward and upward. You got it, babe. I've already done the flip, landed on my feet, and we're running and building a new home right now. It's already They're out here building right now. You hear the hammers? <clears throat> Yusuf, Alabama. Uh, realtor lady knew exactly what she was doing. Started a bidding war. All part of the plan. With comments like, well, you're the first one. You're the first one. Uh, then calling you back, giving you a shot at upping your offer. I did. She probably secretly scoffed at your plus one dollar. Yep, some realtors aren't much above car sales. It's all about making a living, guys. I don't know how, what else to tell you. You know, you can't, I'm not blaming car salesmen or realtors or anything. What are they doing? Making a living. Best way they can. Enjoy every day. Zillow sells that, that says that it is off the market, so we can't see it. Well... You missed it, that's all I can tell you. We'll do a few more here. <clears throat> Brixico. It is so great to see that it is raining there. It looked like a real nice place in Colorado. It is. It was. Uh, we'll do two more here. MC. I saw it, Rusty. You are correct. It is a beautiful view. I would say the house does not look like it has a lot of insulation and therefore would not be, a, be good for very cold weather, but you can always make it a project to do it little by little until it is all done. Correct. Gabriel Taz, Taz, Tomsick. <clears throat> He's got two comments. I'll read them both. It's cute. He says, don't buy anything from China if you value America. That's why I bought boycott Walmart. Gabriel also says, made in China now becomes made in Malaysia or Vietnam, still Chinese companies. They just tried to make the move because of China's bad reputation. Thank you, Gabriel, for your valuable input. Larry Tucker, a house on my street was listed for two hundred and sixty-five thousand, sold for two ninety-five, forty-two showings, fifteen offers. But having said that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the one-eared goat into action here. Give you a one-eared stinking goat kiss, and for your viewing pleasure, we'll do a thing here. We'll do a thing here. We'll do a thing here. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5. 
Oh, life is fun. Get off your butts and make it fun. Anyway, guys, what else? Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. O-N-E, doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want, okay? What else? Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much as in <laughs> snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is eat less. That's it. And I'm, I got, believe me, <laughs> I, need, I need to lose about 10 pounds. <clears throat> yeah, I've been eating my own cooking too long. Anyway, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Whew, lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, 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 <laughs> stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, why not add good ingredients? Hmm? Huh? Anyway, don't watch the news. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. Add ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Till the noon video, which will be something about tiny homes. Or my, my home. The home I'm going to build. So, carry on. Enjoy. Bye.